Alrighty, folks, welcome on back to Satellite Rain. Let's get everything resized here real quick. Um, log upon logging in, we did unlock the Industrial Pacifist achievement. Uh, there was another Industrial achievement we got, wasn't it? So we got downtown without getting... We'll make it to downtown without getting blood. Okay, I thought there was a second Industrial. Yeah, enter. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Cool. So, let's see here. Today... Today we were planning on getting in here to uh, get the bank taken care of. So, uh, let's turn on all the things as we go, just so that we can identify people like this guy. Uh, health by 30, accuracy by 5. That's a lot of speed, though. Uh, what about this guy? This guy's a 4, never mind. That's not going to work. Okay. And I'm probably not going to be worried too much about civilians anymore. <laughs> Just because of how it all works. Too bad we can't um, assassinate the, what do you call them, so the little drones that run around. Alright, so he's about to come back down. Um, can I turn off... I'll be able to turn it off here soon. Okay, so... The other thing is that the... Um, what am I thinking of? The console to turn it off, to actually just temporarily turn it off, is not anywhere around here. Okay, so immediately upon entering, we have to scurry back. Let's get this open. And let's go. Shouldn't be too difficult. We're going to do as much in the shadow as we possibly can. Got to remember that there's a little guy roaming around currently. Um, uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> I got to make sure that we don't uh, accidentally shoot him or anything like that. I'm hoping he goes around this way. He does. Alright, which one do we need to do first? Not the ones for the gates, but the but this one here. Oh, criminy, that was a little bit closer than I wanted it to be. All right, let's get him to turn off the cameras. And then turn off the gates. Wait, why don't what? Why don't usually means something found us. And I don't like why don't. Uh-oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. well, that was that was pretty close. Wow, I could take it over. It is true. You know what? Let's try it. I'm curious if we do this, if. Uh, we can essentially have him walk around and look at stuff without setting off any of their systems. So let's try. Yeah, looks like we can. All right, so we got in the line of duty, which is from Dracogenics HR to Pamela Barnes. Our deepest sympathies, dear Mrs. Barnes. Again, we offer our deepest condolences for the tragic loss of your husband, Stefan, in the line of duty. Wait a minute. 
Um, yeah, Stefan. Oh, he was the one who was the candidate for a full body consciousness transfer. Okay. Uh, for the tragic loss of your husband, Stefan, in the line of duty, following up on our last meeting, you will be receiving a bereavement pension on your husband's behalf. We trust this will provide sufficient funds for yourself and your daughters well into the future. Stefan's memory shall certainly live on for us at the Dracogenics family. Kindest regards, Janice Ferguson, Human Resources Manager, Dracogenics. Okay, uh, what are you doing? Oh, great. Well, looks like we might be getting another little buddy. So all the cameras are off. All the gates are closed. As in they can't come in. Oh. Before we ever got spotted. How many can we control? <laughs> okay, this is too cool. So this guy's three. We've got 45 per second, 11 speed, 30 health, 5 accuracy. You know, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, let's hide a little bit further away. You know, I never even thought of this as a viable option. To just basically take everything. Never thought of it. Never even crossed my mind. Okay. This is interesting. So the bank should be fairly easy to get into. And now that I know about this, everything else should be fairly easy to get into, get into as well. Uh, as soon as these guys turn around and go back the other way, is when I'm going to sneak out and take this guy. I want to see just how many we can control at once. You're not going to be able to leave, dude. Okay, so they're turning around. Here in just a minute. Let's come get this guy. <laughs> All right, let's bring these guys up over here. I do believe we can take this guy here in just a minute as soon as this refreshes. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. Yes. All right, so we, I didn't do what I wanted it to do, but that's okay. We have a lot of little guys now. Nobody got alerted. <laughs> Why can't you do this? Hijacked three of three. Okay. So we can only control three at once. Ooh. We, uh, oops, I didn't mean to bring out everybody's things. We did finish a research. Uh, so let's work on weapon accuracy. Why not? Sounds like a good one. Uh, we need... You know what? Let's just send in everyone. It's the bank, so hopefully we'll be able to do both. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we got cash. We got cash. We increased the industrial ATM. I'm going to dismiss this. We're going to tell these guys to... Oh, criminy. <laughs> yes. 
All right, we're going to go out this way. <laughs> Let's go. Successful exfiltration. Yes. All right, is there anything on the outside that I can use to... Nope. I do still have five little tiny drones, though. So, I'm going to actually release all of them. That way they can go on their merry way. And we can take over some more people eventually. All right. So, in our skills... Oh, we only got one? Oh, man. All right, so let's see here. We've got two here. Master Assassin... Grants the ability to fire knockback shots while equipped with a sniper rifle. The inventor also grants the setup ability when using a sniper rifle, increasing damage output and range. Okay. Master Thief would give us high vents and extra cash. Let's take it. Uh, over here. Increased targets damage received by 25%. That's not bad. Or we could do slow time to 30% normal rate. Energy drains 20% slower. Ability cooldown speeds up by 50%. Increases agent speed by 50%. Wow. That's, that could be huge. Um, I'm gonna go with draw fire here. I probably won't use it. Is that O? Seriously, it's O? That's interesting. All right. Uh, let's look through everything. I was hoping, you know, we might find somebody that we could take that's just kind of wandering around. Maybe we can. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, I know there's gas vents around here somewhere as well. All right, who are you? Accuracy by 5, health by 40. Good enough for me. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to. We're sorry. We're leaving. <laughs> we are out of here. Hey, look. They have people in here now. <laughs> Um, I have to try to stay out of the way because apparently we're alerted. Yep. Can I slip through here? I think so. Seriously? Really? You're just going to let me walk away? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so, yeah, see, civilians aren't even worth it anymore. Come on. There's more cameras and everything. There we go, okay. So, you have a hijack level of four. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? Okay, let's see here. Let's trace you back to your route. Which comes looks like it comes from here. In addition to the door, specifically this door, comes from here. So maybe I'll be able to turn both of those. Well, maybe not both, but you're a four, right? Okay, what is our... We're at three. Okay. Uh, so we need to do stuff to gain more experience. What do we want to try to do for the second half of the mission? Okay, so we've got surveillance authority. Where is this? Okay, we haven't even made it back there yet. So maybe that's something that we should start work. Oh, we now know all of the spots for the ATMs. Interesting. There's one in here. Great. <laughs> that sounds incredibly not useful. 
Uh, we'll be getting that one much later. Uh, let's go down here, actually, and get these relay beacons online. Maybe see if we can't... Uh, where is it? Way down here, right? It's over this way. There we go. It is. Looks like it's like right here. Possibly. Okay, so I am going to try to keep an eye out for any soldiers that are walking by them. Oh, or, or, or these guys. Soldiers that are walking by themselves, for example. Oops. Okay, let's follow these guys. I don't know what their patrol path is like. Excellent. I love how he's just like, wait, didn't we have a buddy? All right, I'm going to send you back. We're going to wait for everything to come back, and we're going to keep taking this group. That way, when I actually start losing guys, we don't lose them too bad. I gotta remember to keep an eye on everything as well, just in case we get another group that decides to sneak up on us. Oh, criminy. I didn't do anything. Didn't do it. It's not me. <laughs> I'm being framed. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's uh, pile up on the wall, and then we'll just kind of scooch down it. To get some extra experience. Okay. One thing I'm actually going to do is we're going to turn this off. Because that'll disable at least some of the security cameras. Because I didn't know that we were under one... Ooh, person multiple persons. Wait, you're an assassinate target. Um, you, alt, left click. Nope. Four, alt, right click. There we go. Okay, now you don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, now you do want to do that. Come on. Seriously? This is why we do this with a pistol. Okay. Um, you should have a silenced pistol. So, let's get everybody up here. Come on, you can do it. Thank you. Alright, so that did something. Uh, that disabled sentry guns. Okay. The manufacturing compound just came became way easier to crack. Uh, which manufacturing compound? Well, that's a checkpoint. That's a guard station. Well, we've got the manufacturing business cadre, but it has two automated turrets. But I don't know if they're online or not anymore. Okay. Uh, let's keep working our way towards this. Um, back here. The whatever it's called. <laughs> now, you know, I could probably take one of these guys. Yes, I could take him. Whoa, 55 health? Uh, I want you to keep going, please. The camera is off. I had to make sure the camera was off before I clicked. Yes. Return. Alright. Let's 
get everybody over here. Uh, to the rest of today may be just going around and getting relay beacons. I guess we'll have to find out, won't we? Okay, so we got a new dossier. The storage compound. Which we now have more than enough to purchase all of the information for. So let's see here. Um, take their armor big. Even got some mechs on patrol. Well, I mean, look at how big this area is. Yeah, I would have mechs on patrol too. That was the storage compound. Uh, is that what this is? The storage compound? Storage facilities. Little front. HQ. Uh, what's here? The security authority. We need to do that one. This one is manufacturing. Okay. So let's get all of the information. Iron lung, ammo pack, atlas, full leg replacement. Okay. We can also get security codes. For the storage, we can get a plasma muffler and a zip claw. All right. And for here, we get the medic pack, mini gun, and energy generator. And we can sneak around. Okay, let's go back. Um, let me actually check through these and make sure that we've purchased all of the information. It's an EMP charger. That was Ronin. The guards is a flamethrower. And a manufacturing compound. Okay. So I do believe that this is the storage facilities. Okay, was that... Yeah, that was what became easier, was the storage... Nope, was manufacturing. Was the manufacturing compound. Okay, is that... Well, let's see here. Is that all the way over here? This is checkpoint. What's up right here? Guard station? Okay. Over here is manufacturing, so I was right. So these turrets that are back here should be offline. All right. What else do we still have? Black market, checkpoint credentials. Not acquired yet. No, no surprise there. I'm not paying 50000 for those. No way, Jose. All right. Let's see here. We now need to go over here. Oops. That's... That was where? Here? Okay. Let's bring everybody up. We're going to follow them as they go. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. Don't go yet. We have a thing to get. <laughs> A thing that I didn't even notice was here. You know, I should probably put some more people on, uh, uh, what do you call it? Nope, nope. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to do that. Research. We're going to research you as well. Uh, let's finish off the generator. We have 12 total. I have six left. That leaves us with four. That leaves us with two. Uh, let's work on the revolver. There we go. All right, so that gets all 12. We're costing 24, but that's okay. We're going to start hemorrhaging money really, really fast, but we're also going to work on getting a whole bunch of things done. All right. Scan the local data cache. See what we can pick up. We get... Ooh, a whole bunch. All right, going against the grain... What is this, a chat room? Uh, has the BioSteel delivery been delayed? Sir, HQ just, notif just issued notification of the delay. I was on my way to inform me. Let me guess. Um, Adamantia issued the notification. Yes, sir. Not surprising. She's once again highlighting her distaste by going around me. Sir, you've proven yourself as a great leader. The industrial branch has become the most successful of all Uzi Corp branches. Uh, and it only stays that way if we're allowed to 
continue under my control, not the control of a family so out of touch with technology. How do you wish for me to proceed with Dracogenics order? If we don't get the Biosteel delivery, we have zero chance of fulfilling the order. Consider it handled. Proceed without delay. Yes, sir. All right, we also got bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I don't know if I want to read this much. <laughs> Private log decryption from a J. Connor. All right, log entry day zero. It's official. I'm in a, an Eternals recruiter. Scrapped through with a 78, but I'll... But a pass is still a pass. I've been assigned to the downtown slums, my old stomping ground. I may even try recruiting my old crew. The old Discon boys won't even recognize me now. My new Augs are like nothing I've ever seen. No doubt they'll be resistant, but we go way back. I'm sure they'll listen to reason. Day 5. Those pieces of shit don't even know how screwed their lives are. I hoped I could get through to them. They know me. I get how they roll. Now they look at me like I'm the enemy. Me, the enemy. Their puny brains don't get the big picture, the real reason for everything. Things have changed since I've left downtown. The place feels different. The streets are deserted, not bustling with dealers and users. Uh, day 23. Dropped past my old stomping ground. The place was deserted. Word is disconnected. Have gone dark, which is weird. Oh, well. Jones said I've got management potential today. Man, how sweet would a promotion to Acolyte level be? Me, mixing it with the middle management. All right, do we have any extras that we haven't read or haven't read? I've got the coop to end all coops. Uh, let's see here. Archive incident report from Dracogenics. Res Tech version 2.07 heist. Incident brief. Security breach occurred in the West Quadrant, Sector 5, with no signs of forced entry. Sector 5 support team was assigned was assisting with resistant riot staged at Central Facility entrance. Dracogenics promised infiltration prom, premises infiltrated suspects escape with Res Tech version 2.7 schematics. Security logs confirmed Dracogenics internal codes were utilized in security breach possible mole. Uh, Dellinger approved priority 1 suspect tracking. Tech must be recovered at any cost. Only partial data of incident retrieved due to Knight Bishop altercation. Task force established. Male suspect profiled as second stringer. Uh, aged in late 20s with significant leg wear upgrades. Currently tracing manufacturers for origin. Took damage to both legs. Managed to escape despite severe mobility impairment. Likely seeking repair replacement. Appears to be dependent on high-end tech upgrades, not the strategic brains behind the bunch. Female suspect profiled as main objective. Aged in late teens, appeared or appearance hidden by dark hoodie and bandana. Distinct neon spray paint color noted on left index finger. Ongoing investigation to trace brand. Noted as agile and efficient, extremely strategic, leaning towards established hacking skills. I think these are our two um, our two main guys that keep telling us everything. Okay, so let's go back down. Let's keep working our way up over this way somewhere. Way back here. It was way back here, right? It was way back here. Okay. So let's keep working our way back there. In the meantime, I did not mean to keep scrolling that far. You are a 3 accuracy of 12. Can we come back here and take this guy, please? That would be amazing. Of course. All right. Let's get you to come, like, way over here. And then I'll make sure to release you. They're really, really dependent on their uh, tracking technology, aren't they? Okay. Let's come get ourselves another researcher as well. Send you back for cloning. Nice. All right, let's keep going. Now that we've used up all of our time, that is. <laughs> so, I think this is actually going to be the end of today's episode. 
Uh, next time, we will be working on switching out everybody's clones. Uh, just to make sure they're they're running on the biggest and brightest. Uh, we are also going to be working on, I don't know, getting somewhere. I would like to make it to uh, this particular thing today before I let you guys go. But yeah, let's turn this off. It's getting kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the end of today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I will catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there. <laughs>